here at Roskilde University talking to Gasur, some students, and some faculty about how they use Sakai and other collaborative technologies to implement the very unique Roskilde approach to group teaching and group learning. I'm teaching a, da a database course uh, that's an uh, introduction to uh, relational databases. Obviously, we use database everywhere in the, in, this, in, in the world now, so it's important to know something about that. And I used uh, Sakai for, for organizing the, the courses webpage, uh, and I have the, the schedule, and I have resources and stuff like that put into the webpage, and I can give announcements and uh, have <coughs> uh, tools and things organized on, on the webpage. Uh, and I use the Sakia, Sakia to, uh, to organize that and to put things into the webpage. Actually, as an overall <clears throat> environment, I think it's a, it's a, it's a, it's okay. There's a small small uh, problems with the editor, for instance. In I can sometimes have problems with making uh, the editor working the way I like it. So you sometimes have to delete everything and copy and paste things into it. And so so that's uh, actually the only place where I think a, a Pullman could be uh, could be nice because. As I actually use sometimes to get it right in the in the editor, and I know it's a difficult task to have this editor inside the web page, but that would be the only thing. I think the improvement uh, in the new version, uh, it's been easier to attach uh, resources. It looked as though you were using Sakai to hand materials out right during class, etc. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, so what I do is, is I attach to, uh, to the schedule <clears throat> The information I, I test the the presentation for the for the lesson and I, and and then I I use the this card to show the student where to find the information. Today I have the, they should use a tool called SQL Developer, something to to access the database uh, from Oracle and uh, I could download that uh, before before the lesson and put it on the web page and just uh, tell them where to get the, the information and, and they could just download it from, from Sakai to, uh, to their, their machine and, and uh, be up running in a short amount of time. So that was, that's just how I used it. So I noticed when I walked in that not only were you using Sakai, but all the students were also before class sitting in Sakai. Is that common? Yeah, because they can, one way to <clears throat> follow the the uh, the lecture lecture is is to uh, have hands out and another way is to have the have the slides also running on the computer so you can move uh, back and forth into it. so so the slides are, are available on the Sakai web page before the lesson so they can uh, um, follow along so you don't have all these papers hands out papers because if they wanted it they can they can print it out but most just want to have the Opportunity to move back and forth in the in the doing the lecture. This is this is the lecture. That's uh, what they have to read to the next time. If if you move to um, to. Um... But they're doing that right now. Yeah. So they left class. Yes, and, and looking at the materials and doing their assignments. Yes, that's and and, and next time they will uh, they will uh, they are working on the assignments. So the next time and I will. Uh, on the web page, on, on this web page, uh, give the solution to the, to the uh, exercises and then we will go through the exercises on the blackboard.